After installing the plugin, you can open it from the script menu. Now let's import some sound effects to our media pool section. I'm importing the effects to different in different bins. After that, refresh to see the audio files. By default, it's showing the root directory, but we can see the individual bins from the drop-down menu. Let me show you a basic example how this works. So first, you have to select the timeline item from the list. Let's select this, and then select a SFX from the audio list. And as you can see now, it's paired with the item. If we now hit the apply button, it'll add the SFX to the items we selected. We can add multiple audio at once. So let's undo and apply again. As you can see, it added those SFX to the clip. Now let's say how to add to markers positions. It's same, but it works based on markers color. As you can see, it applied the SFX as I set one for pink and two for lemon. Clip color works based on clip color. Now let's work with clip markers. It works the same way. You can control click the audio item to remove the audio from selection. Now let me show the offset control section. This helps you to determine where the SFX is going to sit. Select the audio and then click any of it, then hit apply. As you can see it works, you can set different audio with different offset control. You can set two offset control for each SFX, one for the front, one for the back. Now let's add offset value to control the SFX even more with our needs. You can see the front SFX moved by the value we set. Now let's set the value for the back clip. As you can see, it's working. Now let's talk about track offset. This helps you to set which track the audio should start to append so that it don't mess up with your audio. Although it's pretty smart that it stack up if there is any clips already there, but if you want more cleaner work, you can use this. Now let's see how to use in-out setup so you can choose which area it should add the sound effects. So here is three clips. Now let's set the start position and then hit the in button. This determines the start position. Now do the same for the out. Now if I apply, you can see it only affects that area. You can control click the in-out button to remove the position. Now let's save the preset so we can use this again. Now let's import the file. So first we have to reset the project to reset. You have to control click on it. I designed this way because you don't accidentally delete the project. Now click this button to import the file. Now if I select the clip, you can see the SFX I added are showing for the clip. 